Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. As always, I'm Rick and today we're going to have a look at how we can solve statistics on the Texas Instruments BA2 Plus Calculator. Specifically, we'll be looking at how to solve for the mean, standard deviation, and variance of a data set. To do this, we'll be using the second function key that looks like this, located here. The 7 and 8 keys with the second function of data and stat located down here, as well as the enter key with the second function of set that looks like this, located here. We're using single variable data, so the first thing we want to do is turn our calculator into one variable statistics mode. To do that, we press second function and then 8 with the second function of stat, and you should see this LIN on top. This is not what we want. We want to turn this to a one variable statistics mode. So to do that, we press second, enter once, second, enter twice, second, enter three times, and four times until we get a one dash V, which lets us know we're set to one variable mode. We can now clear our screen and begin to enter our data. This is our data set here. 10, 10, 20, 60. These can be counts, weights, whatever we want it to be that we're looking for our statistics for. To enter them, we press second and then seven. We see x01. This is where we enter our first piece of data. Well, for us, it's 10, so we enter 10. Press enter. There we can see x1 equals 10. And then if we go down, we see a y equals 1. This, if we were doing two variable statistics, is where we would enter our y variable. But in this case, we can enter our frequency here. We see 10 occurs twice in our data set. So if we enter 2 here, this tells our calculator that our x1, which remember was 10, occurs twice. So we don't have to enter that 10 in twice or three times or four times if it occurs that many times. So we press enter, go down. Now we have x2, which is our second piece of data. Remember, we already entered the 10 because we entered it in as occurring twice. So next we have 20. Enter, go down. And our y2 will leave as 1 because it only occurs once. And down again, our x3 is 60. Press enter, and we'll confirm it's in there only once. Looks good. All right, our data set has been entered. We can now hit clear to go back to our main screen. We're now ready to calculate our stats and see what we get. So to do that, we press second function, eight. There's our one V, so remember we were in one variable stats. And then if we press down, the first thing we get is N equals four. This is saying the number of variables that we have in our data set is equal to 4, which 1, 2, 3, 4, as we can see, is correct. If we press down again, we get x bar is equal to 25. This is the mean of our data set is equal to 25. Down again, we get big sigma x is equal to 23.804. What this represents is the sample standard deviation of our data set. We can also calculate the sample variance of our data set by squaring this number with the x squared key. And we see we get a sample variance of 566.666, etc. Press down again, and we get the small sigma x, or the population standard deviation of 20.6155, etc. And again, we can calculate the population variance by pressing the x squared key and we see we get a variance of 425. If we press the down key again, we get a sum of our variables, which equals to 100, which 10, 20, 40, 100, yep, makes sense. Down again, and we get a sum of squares of 4,200. If we press down one more time, we're back to the start, 
of one variable statistics where we started. Once we're done, we can press clear to go back to our normal operating mode, and we're good to go. Once we're done working with our data set and we want to clear it so that we can enter a new data set, what we want to do is press second data so that we're back to this screen. And then if we press second clear work, all entered data has been cleared and we're ready to enter a new data set. All right, I hope this helps and good luck on those tests out there, everybody.